Now in this video review, I will review and share everything that you guys need to know about the Xiaomi Mi 8 Lite, so keep watching. Hey what's up guys, Adam Lobo here and you're watching Adam Lobo TV. If you guys are new, hello and welcome. Do consider subscribing to my channel as I release high quality tech videos very frequently here in this channel. And if you're returning as a subscriber, welcome back my friends. Now first of all, I'd like to thank the guys from Xiaomi Malaysia for sending out this review unit. Now starting from the unboxing, the Xiaomi Mi 8 Lite comes in a gradient color box of a hint of orange, pink and purple gradient. Then there's an 8 written and light written on top with the Mi logo on the top right. And at the back, you'll find some of the specs over there. Now once you open up the box, there will be a white box which contains the USB-C to 3.5mm headphones dongle and a SIM ejector tool below. Then you'll find the instructions manual and the clear phone case. Now underneath that you'll find the phone itself. Then there's a USB-A to USB-C cable and the fast charging adapter. Now as usual, let's start with the internals. The Mi 8 Lite comes with the Qualcomm Snapdragon 660 with the Adreno 512 GPU. There's two variants for you guys to choose from, either 4 or 6 gigs of RAM. Then there's either 64 or 128 gigs of storage. And you can expand it with the SD card storage option, which supports up to 256 gigs of storage. It is shipped with Android 8.1 Oreo with the Mi UI 9.6 skin which is upgradable to Mi UI 10 and it comes with Bluetooth 5.0. Now in Malaysia, there's two colors for you guys to choose from. The one which I have right here is the Dream Blue where it has a nice gradient blue to purple gradient right at the back. And then there's the Deep Space Grey color which is a grey to black gradient color. Now for the phone's build quality, the Mi 8 Lite has an all-glass build with a metal frame all at the sides of the phone and it gives it a very solid feel but I gotta say that it's really really slippery and it's of course a fingerprint magnet so I'll slap on a skin or even a case which comes together with a box. Now as for the ports and buttons, on the bottom of the phone there is the USB-C port a mono bottom firing speaker. Now although that you can see there is a dual grille cutouts but that is purely for aesthetic purposes so please keep that in mind. But for me, I'd rather see that space to use as a headphone jack instead, right? Now on the right side of the phone you'll find the volume buttons and also the power button down below and on the left there's a hybrid sim slot which is capable of housing either two separate sims or one sim card and a micro SD card so good job Xiaomi. Now taking a different approach with the phone's display, Xiaomi has decided to go with an IPS LCD display instead of an OLED panel. Now this gives the Mi 8 Lite amazing brightness and the display itself is a 6.26 inches with a resolution of 1080 by 2280 and this gives the Mi 8 Lite an 82.5 screen to body ratio with an aspect ratio of 19 by 9. And for the part that I love the most, the notch on top. Now the notch on top houses the earpiece, the camera and the notification LED which thankfully is not the biggest notch on a 2018 phone. <coughs> Google. Now on the camera front, you get a dual camera setup. In this case, it is slightly different as it comes with a 12 megapixel shooter with f1.9 aperture and 5 megapixel depth sensor with an f2.0 aperture. Now this means that the secondary shooter will only come to play when you're shooting in portrait mode as it is a depth sensor instead of another lens. Now photos for the rear camera was really nice. There is the AI feature which most phones have right now that recognizes objects like plants or even buildings and many more. Now there was a significant difference by turning the AI on or off but if you guys would like to take a quick picture and upload it, I would highly recommend to leave the AI feature on. And of course, the portrait mode for the camera was really great too. 
Now there's no night mode on the phone but pictures taken at night was pretty decent. Now on the front of the device, we get a single 24 megapixel shooter with the auto HDR and pictures for this selfie camera was decent, sometimes can be overexposed and the portrait mode was a hit or miss especially on the edges of the subject. Now as for video, the back camera is capable of shooting video up to 4K UHD at 30 frames per second where the video quality was great and the image stabilization was really good at 1080p at 30 frames per second. And as for the front camera, it records 1080p up to 30 frames per second. Now as for the sound, although it is a mono speaker as I mentioned earlier, and here's a quick sound test. Now on the software front, as mentioned, the phone is now using the upgraded MIUI 10 skin which was nice, based on the Android 8.1 Oreo. Now although it's way better than MIUI 9, personally for me, I prefer stock Android as usual so it totally boils down to your personal preference so there was no issues using this phone from a day-to-day -day basis. Now powering the Mi 8 Lite is a 3350mAh of battery and pairing this with the fast charging capabilities which is a quick charge 3.0, battery life shouldn't be a concern as I started out the day at 8am, used the phone pretty heavily and then I got 47% at about 6pm and 20% at 1am. Now as for the phone's security, there is the fingerprint sensor which unlocks really fast. There's also the face unlock which also unlocks fast and the usual pin or pattern unlock. And as usual, mid-range phones nowadays are capable of handling gaming and this phone did well on gaming and I didn't find any overheating issues on the phone while using it as some reviewers said it had, so that's great. Now in conclusion, Xiaomi has introduced a great mid-range phone which comes with the right features for someone who doesn't need much, who instead needs a phone which works very well, fits the basic needs and the AI features of the camera and of course, if you guys are familiar with the MIUI skin. And once again, I'd like to thank the guys from Xiaomi Malaysia for sending out this device and if you guys are interested to get this phone, I will leave links of both of the phone's variants down below. Now as for pricing, Xiaomi Malaysia has priced the Mi 8 Lite at 999 ringgit for the 4 gig RAM and the 64 gigs of storage model and 1299 ringgit for the 6 gigs RAM plus the 128 gig storage model. So guys, do let me know what you guys think of the Xiaomi Mi 8 Lite down at the comment section below. Aside from that, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give this video a nice big thumbs up. Like, share and subscribe to Adam Lobo TV if you haven't done so. Don't forget to hit the bell icon just next to it to get notified for my future videos. Thank you so much for watching. This is Adam Lobo and I'll catch you guys really soon.